Mario once again with MIA Microflight and this is the simulated smoke stack for a model train that I showed in my other videos. Uh, these circuit boards you can buy these with the uh, PSO element that, that does this um, uh, that um, does this function here. Uh, you can buy those from uh, Amazon. This one came in a pack of three for nine dollars. And I've been, um, I just printed this uh, uh, container. This contains the water and it has uh, provisions. Uh, the cap is separate. And this cap fits over the piezo element. And it's got um, vents on the sides. You need the venting to create an airflow as this is uh, spitting out. As you can see how much, how much um, it simulates uh, smoke. This is not really smoke. This is a water mist it looks like smoke but it gen generates quite a bit provided that the BSO element that white uh, ring faces upward that's where the the exit is and the bottom surface is um, uh, makes contact with the filter that uh, sponges up the water that holds the water which is this material that came with these units here you get a you get a length that's uh, good enough for um, you can keep it a uh, uh, the original length which is about uh, I believe uh, close to three and a half inches tall or long I cut it in one third and that's what I'm using inside this uh, container here uh, this container I have to redo because the bottom in uh, cleaning up some of the uh, supports that uh, got built up is part of the interior uh, retainer for this um, filter uh, I actually uh, went right through with the drill bit as I was drilling it by accident so that's why it's sitting here on this uh, cap this water bottle cap which is holding the water there but I'm about to redo this redesign this so that uh, this has uh, an entry point so that we can pour the water from one of the entry points on the uh, or one of the exit points on the uh, locomotive uh, the locomotive has a stack which is um, a, a part like this but bigger and wider at the top it's like at the front the, the one that generates the smoke the smoke stack and then there's another opening on the top of the locomotive so I am going to marry the, this entry point here with this part here so that we can pour some water here with a small bottle we can fill this tank right here um, for a more continuous uh, smoke operation uh, this I'm assuming this is probably going to last a good uh, good amount of uh, uh, time this I'm running at 3 I'm running this at 3.7 volts right now these units apparently uh, by the specs can go up to 5 volts I can certainly run this uh, from the same battery that I'm running the uh, locomotive uh, motor so I'm about to do that I'm going to increase the uh, the voltage to 4 and that's uh, I'm going to leave it at about 4 point, it's about 5 so if we you put the smoke stack, you can see how the smoke is uh, more consistent. But it also has to do with how close the how close the uh, piezo element is to the surface of that little sponge or filter. Now notice when I press this a little bit and make make it a little more in contact with the with this filter that's inside there that carries the the, uh, the water. I was able to create a little more, more simulated smoke. Look, look at that. Now, now it's it's cranking. And if we put this uh, stack here, you can see there's a there's a lot of. I mean, the effect is uh, impressive. Uh, my first time experimenting with something like this, and I just had to get these uh, circuits because I, uh, I was trying to make a. Uh, smokestack using a um, using my own uh, heater which I show in another video how to do this with a with a nichrome wire but uh, this is much this is much safer and it's much more practical I think uh, it's and it's already done the circuits already done you don't have to mess with this even though this is more direct to the to a battery or to, to the motor uh, power system uh, but then I 
then you got to use oil and it's a little bit more messy than just using water you know water is clean and and, look, and it, it's providing a, a very very nice uh, very, very nice effect so I'm going to work a little bit more on this uh, design and I'm going to uh, keep uh, the, the fit a little more um, more close in tolerance so that um, we don't have to we don't have to worry about it. I mean look how much smoke it is and I'm actually putting a little pressure here so that the PSO element which is in a rubber ring makes more contact with the filter element which is soaking up the water from this little tank reservoir so I'm going to redesign this uh, for, with an entry point for uh, adding more water direct from the um, from the cover of the uh, the locomotive um, and um, and that way we don't have to un uncover the you know the cover and fill this little tank so it'll be more direct so I'm gonna do that in my next video you'll see that finished uh, product